Hey everybody, welcome. And today's topic, we're gonna to talk about before confidence, you need this one thing. Before I dive into that, I wanna let you know that if you are watching this on December 5th or 6th, there is still time to get in on the making your weight loss goals a reality. This is where I'm going to walk you through a really simple way to make sure you achieve your weight loss goals that you want. We did day one today. Um, on Monday of this recording, and then we're going to do Tuesday and Thursday. So the replay will be available inside my group program. This making your weight loss goals a reality is only available inside of my group program. So if you want to come on in and join the group program, we'll lose it for the last time. Go to nicolesimonen.com slash group and click on that link there and you will be taken to the page where you can sign up. So again, if you want in, go to nicolesimonen.com slash group. The information will also be um, in the comments or in the show notes as well. So, all right. So let's dive into the topic today. Confidence, right? We've been told you just need more confidence. You need to feel more confident. We are told this for many things, whether that be in school, making friends, going for new jobs, um, and how we quote unquote should look or how to approach weight loss. Confidence is des defined as a sense of comfort in yourself. It's a believing that you can do X, Y, Z, which I find really interesting that it's a sense of comfort. That part to me was like, hmm, that's interesting because if you are going after new things, new experiences, a new you, you're not going to be comfortable. You will indeed feel very uncomfortable. You're not used to doing that, right? Because the way you think, feel, and act right now is giving you the result of the body that you have right now. So you need to think differently and do things differently and, and feel things differently in order to get the goal that you want to achieve. So you're going to feel uncomfortable as you go through this process. And remember, your primitive brain loves comfort. It does not like uncomfortable. It likes feeling like it's snuggled up in a blanket next to a warm fire, sipping coffee while you're petting your dog, right? This is the kind of comfort your brain loves. It feels so right for your primitive brain. So why don't we have more confidence if primitive brain loves this aspect? Because in order to get to fully confident, we need to experience some extremely uncomfortable things like feelings of frustration, doubt, disbelief, on and on, right? <laughs> Judgment, shame, beratement. And the primitive brain doesn't want to do all that. It just wants to settle for whatever level of comfort it can currently acquire as fast and as easily as possible. So hang with me for this analogy because I'm going to use this for the rest of this video or this episode. So confidence is like the very tippy top of a high mountain, right? Primitive brain of ours just wants to be airlifted directly to the top, but it doesn't work that way. You need to climb the mountain. You need to experience all the things that are going to happen while you're climbing that mountain. You need something before you get to confident so your primitive brain will be okay with your decisions to climb that mountain and go after that goal. And what you need is courage. Courage is acting when you do not 100% believe that you're going to achieve climbing to the top of the mountain. Courage is taking the first step and committing to getting to the top, no matter how steep the incline is, how the path disappears, or how much it snows as you get closer to the top. Courage is doing something despite your fear of doing it. The willingness to be all in on the journey, instead of taking the easy way, right? The airlift up to the top of the mountain. For you, your mountain may be your weight or how you feel about your body or how you feel about you. If weight loss is your top of the mountain, you have to expect your primitive brain to not be on board with this plan. It will list out all the horrible things you think you're going to have to go through in order to get to the top. 
If I told you there were hungry mountain lions and poisonous snakes and trails that just disappear, and just as you get to the top of the mountain, there's gonna be Arctic winds, and if you don't blow off the mountain, you probably will freeze to death up there. Of course, <laughs> your brain is gonna be like, hells no. This is how you set yourself up for weight loss, right? This is what we do. I must sacrifice, I must endure, I must prepare for the worst. And your brain will like to add, because I probably won't get to the top anyway. Stop, stop, stop. What you wanna find is an expert that has navigated this mountain for some time. She knows the easier, easier paths to follow. She knows how to avoid the mountain lines and she possibly might have a very cool Jeep to take you up to the top, right? <laughs> Your brain loves comfort. It loves being right too. This is why I've made my program so simple, especially with this new making your weight loss goal a reality, which is inside my lose it for the last time group program. This is what I was talking about in the beginning of this um, episode. But we want to get your primitive brain on board with climbing that mountain and getting you to your weight loss goal right? The weight loss mountain <laughs> that I have created inside of my programs is one filled with warm weathered paths, friendly woodland creatures, and we'll sing the hills are alive with the sound of music if you so desire all the way up to the top. Seriously, if you want weight loss to be super simple, you need to get your brain on board, right? Your primitive brain on board. Your prefrontal cortex is always like, yes, I'm good, but we know that the primitive brain is driving the bus. So we wanna get that on board with what you're planning, right? And if again, if you don't know how to do this, I can help you. You can join the program at nicolesimonen.com slash group. You don't need confidence right now. What you need is to have courage to start climbing that mountain, right? Courage to take that first step. Having courage to take the step. And when you fall the first six feet of trying to climb that mountain, you pick yourself up and you do it again. Having the courage to face whatever is going to challenge you. Confidence comes from doing, it comes after having the courage to think a new way, to try a new feeling, or do something different. Once you're confident and you do it consistently over and over again, then you master it. That's where self confidence comes in. And this doesn't even have to mean like task or action steps, like working out every day. Sometimes it could just be deciding to think a new thought, like I am in the process of losing weight rather than I will never lose weight. You can be courageous today. And I want you to ask yourself, how can I be courageous today? What do I need to think? How do I need to feel? What, do I, what actions do I need to take? But make sure those actions are coming from the right space. So I hope that you will continue to climb your mountain, whatever that goal is. If it's weight loss, I for sure can help you. Again, go to nicolesimonen.com slash group. Let's get you in the group today and uh, definitely get in on that event on making your weight loss goal a reality. So. That's all I have for today. Have a wonderful day. If I don't see you in the group, I will see you on the next episode.